WC4 News at 11 a.m. starts now. Right now at 11 a.m., tire skid marks and crime scene tape cover South L.A. intersection after a street takeover came to a deadly end. Good morning, I'm Michelle Vias in for Michael Brownlee. Right now we want to show you some live pics here of a situation here. Two men are dead and another victim hurt after a shooting during a street takeover. It happened in the Florence Graham neighborhood in South LA. This is a live picture from our NBC4 photojournalist Jeff Sharping. We first told you about this as breaking news during today in LA and hours later, the scene is still very active. LA County Sheriff's Department tells us that they got a call of street racing earlier this morning around 3.30 at the corner of Firestone and Hopper. While on the way, deputies got an updated of a shooting at the same location. When arriving, one man was found shot and killed while the other man was taken to the hospital where they later died. Lieutenant Omar Camacho spoke about the dangers of street takeovers. They're, they're very dangerous. Uh, they're, they're dangerous and they're becoming more common, unfortunately, like you're saying. Um, you know, nothing good comes out of it. Uh, we tell people just to stay home and uh, these uh, you know, they're very dangerous. People get struck by vehicles. Unfortunately, there is fights that occur and uh, multiple shootings that are happening as well. It is unknown what led up to the shooting and no word yet on a suspect or suspects, but anyone with any information on this shooting is asked to call the police department. We've got the NTSB point as we zoom in. Right there, pieces of the and ultimately a the Bell helicopter acting as the observation. Fire that was burning three acres down below. It's continuously circling the area. Uh, they're determining what areas uh, are, are prime for them to drop. Um, you know where there may be impacts to structures uh, uh, moving as the fire continues to move forward. Uh, so the helicos and the air attacks are constantly monitoring those situations. It's unclear what led up to the moment the helicopter collided with a sky crane water dropping helicopter. The sky crane able to land with no injuries. The smaller Bell helicopter was not. It was a uh, uh, issued as a state uh, high wildland dispatch. Um, so we would, you typically would have a uh, air attack, uh, air tankers and helicopters working over that fire. That's pretty typical, especially with the winds that we get in this area uh, late in the afternoons. A procession at 1 a.m. took the remains of the firefighters from the scene to the Riverside County Coroner's Office. Along with the pilot, a Cal Fire Division chief and Cal Fire captain were both killed during an air assault that was supposed to contain the initial brusher quickly. It's Cal Fire's goal to always stop uh, fires uh, to 10 acres or less whenever possible. Uh, that's why we do attack them uh, very quickly. Um, uh, once a fire uh, starts to build, it, it can be very hard to stop uh, if you, we can't stop it in that initial phase. We come back to the scene here again. You can see the rotors from that helicopter. The NTSB says this could be.